today's tutorial, we see how to create this dot pixels photo effect that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. And then we are going to use it as a PSD template, so this way we can apply the same effect on other pictures using Photoshop Smart Objects. Alright, so it's the tweet. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop. And the first thing that we are going to do is to create uh, the pattern that we'll be using to create this effect or you know the dot pixel that we'll be using so I would go to file new and for the width and height you can just put 50 pixel in the width and 50 pixel in the height 300 in the resolution and RGB in the color mode and let me change the color of the background to black because that's what we'll be using and the work is okay all right now I'm gonna unlock this background so I will double click on it and I will call it BG for background and the is okay next we need to create a circle that will fit uh, in this box in here so I will go and I will select uh, my ellipse so in here and then I will one click and I will put 50 pixel in the width and 50 pixel in the height and the is okay and this will create a circle as you can see in here let me change the, the color of the fill I will turn it white and now we can see the circle in here now we switch to my move tool and I will take the circle and I will try to put it in the center just like this all right now we have created the circle after that we need to load the selection of the circle so I'm gonna press ctrl and I will one click on this circle layer and as you can see this will load a selection of the circle now I'm gonna hide this circle for now and I will go back to my background in here and I will press delete and as you can see this will make a hole of the background and that will be okay because that's what we want and then I'm gonna press ctrl D to deselect alright so this is the first pattern that we are going to save so I will go ahead and save it by going to edit and then I will go to define pattern in here and I will name it dot black background and the is okay all right so now we have created the first pattern after that I will go back and I will make my circle visible again but I'm gonna put the fill to 0% all right now I'm gonna open uh, the layer styles or you know the blending option so I will go to this FX in here and I will choose blending options after that I will go to inner glow and I will change the color to black and in the source in here I will make it to edge and then I'm gonna put 25 pixel in the size and then I will go to the range in here and I will put 80% and for the opacity I'm gonna put around 80% too and the is okay and this will be our second pattern so now we can save it but first we need to hide this background in here and then I will go to edit define pattern and I will call this dot shadow and the is okay now we have our second pattern in here now we can go and make this background visible again after that I will go back to this uh, circle in here and I will open the layer size again by uh, double click on this FX in here after that I will uncheck uh, the inner glow in here and then I will go to gradient overlay next I will open the gradients from here and probably you won't find this same gradient as I have in here so let me go back and you know make it to the default gradient if you found it like this you can just you know uh, turn this black color into white and then go to this color stop in here and select this one that is above of it in here and then make the opacity of it to 0% and also make sure that it, this uh, color is set to white too alright and press ok after that I will change the style to radio and I will keep the opacity set to 100% and the blending mode to normal and for the angle just you know keep it 90 and 100% in the scale and press ok and this will be our second pattern so let's you know hide the background first and then I will go to edit define pattern again and I will name it dot highlight and the is okay 
and now we have done creating uh, the pattern that we are going to use so let's just close this document because we don't need it anymore and then I will go to file and I will create a new document and then I'm gonna put 3000 in the width and 2000 in the height 300 in the resolution and RGB in the color mode and the hope is ok alright so let's unlock the background again by double click on it and then I will name it main image and the hope is ok Alright, so we want this effect to be uh, as a template, which is mean that we can apply it to other uh, pictures without having to repeat the whole, you know, process again. Which is mean that we need to use smart objects. So I will right click and I will choose convert to smart objects. And now we can, you know, double click on these smart objects in here and this will open it in a new tab. And then we can uh, place the picture that we want to use in here. So let me go and open the picture that I will be using and open it just right here. All right. And then I'm going to press shift alt on my keyboard and I will make it bigger so it will fit with the canvas in here. And I will zoom out a little bit and uh, try to use portrait image uh, like this to get the most of this effect. All right. So I think I will place it just right here and I will one click on this check mark to commit the change. Alright now we'll close this tab in here and it will ask me to save it as a smart object so I will press yes and you will find the, the picture in here in this smart object. Alright now I'm gonna make uh, two copies of this uh, smart object by pressing ctrl J and I will name this first copy to pattern one and the second copy to pattern two after that i will put zero in the fill for the both of these two copies in here and then i will go back to this main image that we have in here and i will go to this fx in here and i will open the blending options now i will go to pattern overlay and as you can see we'll find in here the pattern that we created so make sure that you are using this uh, first pattern that we created that's a dot black background and then i will press ok and as you can see we already applied the, the dot pattern in it and it already looks really good now i will go ahead and select this pattern one layer in here and i will go to open the blending option from here all right now we'll go to pattern overlay but this time I'm gonna choose the second pattern that we created that said dot shadow but I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to overlay and then I'm gonna put down the opacity to 50% and I hope it's okay and as you can see this will give it more depth to it alright now we'll go to the pattern to layer and again I will open the blending options and I will select pattern overlay again and this time I'm gonna use the last pattern that we created that said dot highlights and I will change the blending mode of it to soft light and I will keep the opacity set to 50% and I will press ok and as you can see because we added a little bit of shadow in the dots and a little bit of highlights in the center of the dots it started to look a little bit in a, a 3d shapes and that's what we want and we are done with the, our effects now we're gonna try to apply it on other picture and see how it's gonna look like so I will double click on one of these layers it doesn't matter which one just you know double click on it and this will open the smart objects tab in here so I will go and you know locate another image and I will take it and open it in here and again I'm gonna place it and I will make it bigger so it will fit with the canvas of the document just like this and I will one click on the check mark alright now we're gonna close this uh, tab again and I will press yes make sure to press yes to save it and I will wait for the effect to apply and there we go we have the effects in here applied for this image too and it looks really good alright so that will be all for this tutorial I hope that you enjoyed and you liked this video and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know it's for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching